<laughs> That's Scoochie Coochie. What is up, everybody? We got a full house here for this episode of Distorted Minds. Coming at you, I'm Kevin Hill. This pile of shit next to me is Keith Hollis. <laughs> Big old pile of shit right here. <laughs> and our guest today, Drew Waymire's back in the house. Yo, been a while, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little much, but okay. <laughs> and we got Mike Brownstone. Uh, uh, what do you? Hello. <laughs> How does this work? Does this work? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> so without further ado, we'll just get right into it. Here comes the theme song. <laughs> We're too back. Thick. Lifting the veil, this. dude. This <laughs> is like I learned about behind the, the fucking veil of Oz right now. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah. <laughs> Our little computer broke, so we don't fucking put them in real time, the theme song anymore. Yeah. Or like we don't have drops anymore. That that kind of sucks. Because yeah. those were fun. I'm trying to find a word. Pull the wiener out. out. What did, what, did, what did you even bring me on this podcast for? Then? Like, <laughs> He's that disappointed? I just fucking, I, this, this, I mean, if you could see me right now, listeners, you, you would feel my If you my could pain. only see. <laughs> buzz cuts. Remember the buzz cuts? Uh, buzz dude, cuts. No, no, no. The, the infomercials where all the hit songs were on that one CD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where, like, yeah. now, yeah. it's now, like, It was, like, now 32. with software. It was now, but for, like, alternative rock. Buzz ballads. Buzz ballads and buzz, buzz cuts. Buzz ballads, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, fuck. <laughs> for just three easy payments of nine ninety nine. I got one of those CDs once for Christmas. My mom was like, it has that kryptonite song you like on it so much. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. One out of da, 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 twelve. Da, 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 da. <laughs> If I go crazy, yeah, if man. I go crazy, will you still call me Superman? I bought that album. Like <laughs> that was one trash. of my first albums I ever bought. Dude, that, uh, actually, that that music video was pretty tight. The old guy in the, like the suit, the fucking undies and shit. <laughs> oh yeah, he had the fucking bed sheet that. as a cape. Yeah, oh okay. yeah, I've never seen the music video. He was like a wrestler or something, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think he was so. looking at old pictures and shit. Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't think I've ever seen that. But okay, Ryan, sure. Look that up. Still be holding my hand. Still a good song. Oh yeah. If well, that song up. comes on, you turn, it, you turn it up. Turn even, it. I don't know if they played on the radio or not. You know, <laughs> a few of the lyrics on, at least. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they played they on the, the new oldie station, which for us old fucks now is the the '90s station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like what we grew up with yeah he was like oh this is oldies now fuck you it wasn't that long ago <laughs> I'm Dozer and I'm coming at you with all your fucking favorites from the 90s for the next hour <laughs> did somebody say Marcy's Playground again what <laughs> that's a, 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 a sex and candy <laughs> I smell sex and Damn. Randy Ooh. Marsh, yeah, <laughs> drunk on that skunk beer again. 
Who's that farting <laughs> in my direction? <laughs> He's just gonna keep going now uh, if we go. let him. And then we're and then we're gonna Stan get. Stan Marsh, where's your mom? Is she just? And then we're a gonna get in trouble for. Or am I drunk again? <laughs> <laughs> you went off on one there. Hey, we're gonna get usage rights violations. I don't know. I've Nobody been locked in my house. I played blue and black on the last yeah. episode, so. Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> you guys blue did a couple long, songs, didn't you? Yeah. Well, he did the other one by himself, basically. Uh, I thought he was talking about this. Are you talking about the song? Yeah. Oh. Me and my buddy Joey, we uh, jammed guitars while we were on the podcast. There was one. Yeah, he was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He does who does, the, who does that song? Kenny Wayne, Wayne Shepherd. That's like the only song I know of his. <laughs> I would uh, a buddy of mine, his friend Jake. Anytime you'd like go to jam, he'd be like, "Let's jam Blue on Black." And I would be like, <laughs> he'd be drunk or you know he's hanging out. He's like, "Blue on Black." That's like the one song. Yeah. <laughs> Always wanted to jam. That, that song, song gets pretty old if you do <laughs> a couple times. Like over and over again. Especially if you're just playing chords and shit. It's just basically yeah. the same chord throughout the whole <laughs> song. <laughs> same chords. But, yeah, Joey was the one improvising on guitar. I wasn't, I'm not good at that. <clears throat> that was sounding good, though. Fucking, uh... Ooh, shit. <laughs> I'm so glad I ordered that Dumb and Dumber book. Dude. Oh, you did? You did yeah. order it? Yep. That's cool. Hell yeah. Drew's gonna, gonna deliver it. it. <laughs> pack it. Put the people shipping do. label on it. <laughs> and just deliver it right to him. Fucking deliver it, put bro. a little note in there. Be like, hey, Mikey, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I can even pack this for you. I would look behind you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, cool. Hey, but, hey look, babe. Uh, Drew, Drew packed this one. It says, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> <laughs> That's Drew for you. Is that, is that a picture of his dick? <laughs> Hashtag, you got the bid now. <laughs> it's like a whole. I wonder if they came out with a sequel book and they just wrote a bunch of books. They continued the adventures oh, continue of Harry the... and Lloyd. Because at the end, it was like they're going to Mexico. Yeah, to see I the mean, Northern Lights. That, yeah, to see to the see Northern the... Lights. <laughs> that never but, happened in the movie. So. But they do have other movies of Dumb and Dumber, so. They do? Well, yeah, they do. Dumb and yeah. Dumber, too. Yeah. But, man, and the prequel. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the funniest part of Dumb and Dumber 2 is when, like, uh, Harry goes with Lloyd to his new apartment, and they, like, he goes in and uh, he goes in. So, <laughs> all right. Now that we can all hear me. <laughs> so Harry goes to Lloyd's new apartment, and Lloyd Lloyd's got a roommate, and he's like, "Oh, what's with that guy?" He's like, turns over, he's like, "Oh, I don't know. I think he's a scientist or something. He's literally a, like in a fucking like full on quarantine like." Hazmat. Aliens hazmat suit. And he's got a fucking meth lab. <laughs> Hell yeah. Some kind of scientist. We're going to make, make up our own uh, Dumb and Dumber adventures. <laughs> Hell I yeah. Being, I remember being kind of disappointed make up. with that movie. But... The second one or yeah, the first the one? The second yeah. one. The first I one mean, was one the of the prequel. best of all time. I mean the prequel. Oh, I don't remember much about that other than he shit everywhere in yeah. that bathroom. <laughs> Bob was Sag- oh, wasn't it Bob Saget? Yeah, it was Bob Saget. He's like, there's shit everywhere. And the yeah. brain freeze uh, yeah. scene, I remember that. They tried hard. The dude who played like a young Jim Carrey, he tried his ass off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he really didn't do that bad of a job if you're trying to <laughs> yeah, get I mean, close to a Jim Carrey as you yeah, can. Yeah, you gotta try to be a Jim Carrey. Yeah, try to match his tough energy gig. and shit. He didn't shit. do that bad of a job. That's no. a tough gig. Right. He did, he did all right. Yeah. <laughs> he just... He's just not the real thing, and we all know it. Yeah. Nope. Have you all. seen, like, Jim Carrey's paintings? Yeah, I've seen like, that He's video. got some crazy-ass fucking... He's, like, laying down across a ladder or something like that. And... Yeah. He's got... He's, I guess he's been painting for a long time. And he's got some crazy-ass-looking art. He's kind of out there, right? Yeah. Now. I don't know what's going on with him, but... Man. 
Oh, he tripped hard or something. He dude, he he, he hung out with Joe. Bit, he hung like, out with Joe Rogan something. and did some DMT. To try <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, that. Did you guys see that? Uh, it was on Netflix for a while where he was in that Man in the Moon, Man on yeah. the Moon movie. Dude, that was yeah. good. Doctor the behind the scenes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, he, where he like he drop full. in the character. He'd be talking to his gym. Absolutely. He like took a hit of a cigarette. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> I did watch that. And he was. And like he, he would, he was Andy Kaufman, yeah, 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 Andy Kaufman. And then he would just be a dick to people, just like yeah. uh, just all be, the other actors are like, what the fool? He like, became obsessed guy? with uh, uh, trying to be Andy Kaufman. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, trying it was to, like uh, mething acting, try, <laughs> the method yeah. acting. Andy Kaufman and Andy Kaufman's uh, like alter ego. What the fuck was that? Uh, Tony Clifton. Yeah, Tony Clifton. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Like he went to like a party at the Playboy Mansion as Jim Carrey then changed into Tony Clifton like halfway through the party. <laughs> <laughs> like, chill out, Jim Carrey. Dude, Andy Kaufman was a weird-ass dude. What Didn't he, like, wrestle women? Jerry Lawler. Or, Jerry Lawler. Jerry Lawler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But also women, no? He wrestled yes, women? He did. Yeah. Yes, he did. He wrestled women. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Lawler he would get him pissed a, at him dude uh, what's his name <laughs> he would get TV so show. pissed at Andy like, it, was all, it was all part of his act man he was he was out there he was, he there. was a fucking crazy dude man yeah he like or something like he took the pile driver from Jerry Lawler and then stayed in the hospital for three days <laughs> <laughs> and the, nurse, the, the doctor's nurse was like there's nothing wrong with you <laughs> he's like no <laughs> you, he broke my neck he's, yeah my neck's broke <laughs> There's nothing wrong with yeah, I can't even walk anymore. <laughs> but he slapped him on um, uh, Letterman's late night TV show. Uh, and Letterman didn't know it was going to happen. So he, Jerry he was, Lawler hauls off and slaps him and like knocks him out of the chair. Shit. It was crazy. Dude was unpredictable. Yeah, super, super yeah. offended. But the funny thing was, is like all that stuff with Jerry Lawler. Like I'm not saying like the, uh, the impact of the hit wasn't real but it was all planned like it, you know like they were good friends so like him like getting the shit kicked out of him like that was all stuff that they kind of had planned together i'm not saying like jerry Lawler didn't really hit him to sell the realism of it but it definitely was like he didn't they didn't hate each other like they were yeah, it was pro wrestling yeah, they yeah. were in on it together yep. and that's what i guess like pissed jerry lawler off when they were making the man on the moon movie because jim carrey was a total dick to him he's like yo me and <laughs> me and andy were actually pretty good we were like buddies we like were in on it together and like oh, you're going a little too far little, man bring, bring, bring it back much i don't much. remember that some that <clears throat> fucking documentary thing too much but it was crazy i did watch it and it was, yeah it was like the movie studio they like hid it for like 20 years or whatever because <laughs> they didn't want people to think jim carrey was an asshole <laughs> yeah Man. Not only that, I mean, like, you can see in, like, his later, like, interviews and stuff, he's like, that dude took some hard fucking drugs, man. Like He's been through some yeah, shit. He, like, his wife died and all kinds yeah. of shit. Yeah, he fucking probably uh, didn't he, like, threw he down grew, on some DMT. And, he, like, grew up super poor, didn't he? So, like... Uh, I don't really know. I think... Pretty poor in cause Canada. He, yeah, because he had, like, that mission to make, like... What was it like a million dollars? And then Ace Ventura was his first. Yeah, he like visualized dollars. his own. He's like, I'll get a check for this much money. Yeah. And then he did. Right. He, he, for dumb and, it was for Dumb and Dumber because, oh, was it dumb uh, and dumb? because when he first signed, was like talking to him about doing Dumb and Dumber, Ace Ventura hadn't came out yet. They had like them three movies planned though. Right. Ace Ventura came out like nobody expected it to do good and it kills it kills and then the dude. mask comes out <laughs> yeah. and it mask, kills and then dumb and dumber and then so when he went back to like renegotiate by the time oh. they were getting ready to do dumb and dumber ace ventura and the mask it came out and he was like <laughs> you got pay up. Me. fucking blew up, pay up. <laughs> jeff daniels did dumb and dumber for fifty thousand dollars damn <laughs> jim carrey did it for millions <laughs> But Je Jeff Daniels was already like an established movie star for a yeah. while. He had well, money. He was, he was I, what, in a lot of serious he, roles. He but wanted he's a to. Fucking good actor, he still does right? serious he wanted roles. To, he just wanted to work, be in the movie. I think he just wanted to try comedy for yeah, a change because he's doing so thought many he could like do serious it. roles. Yeah. And then he had to hang with Jim Carrey in the movie. The guy hawked on my burger. <laughs> also, he was uh, in Speed. Kick that his year, ass, too. Sea Bass. Speed. Yep. With Keanu, Speed. Oh, he was in I don't remember Speed. He dies. He gets blown up in a house. 
house. Spoiler boss. alert. Jeez. Yeah. I was I'm about sorry. to watch that tonight. <laughs> it was on my queue. Shoot the ah. hostage. For 25-year-old <laughs> movie. Spoiler. All right. Right. Spoiler. If this bus doesn't go over, was it 65? Yeah, like that, yeah. The bus that couldn't slow down. <laughs> they were all just sitting around, like, smoking one day. They're like, dude, what if there was... What if this... Bomb on the bus, man, and they had to like stay above fifty, dude. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, that's, that's like, a oh, great man. idea. Let's pitch it. But proof. what about yeah. if the gas runs out? Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> this yeah. is just proof that Hollywood will ride has around it. Had <laughs> really <laughs> right. stupid fucking ideas. We'll do a green light that give them sixty million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's got. That speed's a good movie, though. Yeah. It's got it's Dennis Hooper in it. It'll never fail. Oh, Dennis Hooper. <laughs> Dennis Hooper. <laughs> Dennis Hopper. <laughs> Dennis Hooper. Hooper. I hear it's got that Dennis Hooper. <laughs> Dennis hey, Hooper. Hey, hey, guy. It's got that you, guy. You, you're talking to me in all the wrong tone. Dennis, do it again, Dennis and I'll uh, and I'll do Dennis Hooper you again. Come on. <laughs> He's Busting gonna Dennis, out the walking impressions now. He's gonna Dennis like system you. Like we did you. before. Yeah. We started recording. You missed the magic. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do a. I'm just, I'm we're just, gonna do a fake interview. The moment's gone. The, magic. the moment's gone. gone. You can't recapture we're gonna that. do a fake interview with you fake can't. lightning in a bottle. You can't with, recapture with that. Fake Christopher Walken. I'll never Walken. be able to do a better Christopher Walken <laughs> impression than I did earlier. It was <laughs> never trying, gonna happen. I was trying to make it while the while the while the magic was happening. It it's didn't never happen. gonna I'm happen. Sorry. So I'll never be able fuck. To so, Mister Walken, what's it like when you're not doing movies? Was it was like an average day for? For the walker. Well, you know, <laughs> sit around and read books. See? It's oh. not as good. It's not as good because it's forced. It's forced. Because we forced them to do it. Can't Walk in, it. in a and winter wonderland. It. Can't, re- can't recreate it. It's gone. And by read, I mean listen. And by books, I mean well, you know, audio books. <laughs> A little difficult to read sometimes. Christopher, <laughs> I didn't busy. see you walk in. <laughs> I was out for a jog. <laughs> Call me Christopher good. jogging. I sweat all over my body. <laughs> they go take a bath. <laughs> it's so nice of you to come do our show. <laughs> I'm, a I'm a big fan. I'm a big podcast guy. <laughs> I listen. <laughs> what kind of podcast do you listen to? You know, it's... Not much, but you know, I like to listen about. See, that was morphing into Arnold <laughs> it's, it's Schwarzenegger <laughs> all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, you know, I like to go and I like to get the workout, get the pump in, <laughs> get the good pump while I listen to the podcast, you know. Distorted uh, minds, you know, I like it because I know Kevin, you know, I like to know Keith, you know, the guys when you're on. Just get the good pump in, you know, so I like to work out. <laughs> nice. Wait a <laughs> That they're the same guy. That's good. They're the same guy. They are the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could you could you could turn that into like this is Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to do Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> Yo Look at me Infuse Not Christopher Walken. <laughs> 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 I was in such movies as Catch Me If You Can with Tom Hanks. Did you see I the didn't video? See that one. Did you didn't see Catch Me If You Can? No. Dude, Is that, does that one movie. have Leonardo in it too? Leo, yeah. Leonardo, yeah. Leonardo, Young Leo. Leo. I remember those. seeing it. But oh, is that the one where he's like a... Uh, Christopher Walken's a plane, Leonardo DiCaprio's like dad. Plane Basically, he just go. lies about everything. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's based on a true story. This guy actually did this shit. Back in the day, like yeah, and then the stuff. FBI actually takes his accounts, and he's like a consultant to help them he find them other people writing, writing fraud for like yeah. checks and shit like that. Good movie, uh, check it out. Good movie. I might do that. I think I might have like seen it like I seen it. TBS <laughs> or some shit like that where they play it, but you don't. You just have it like on in the background while you're doing dishes oh, or some shit. What, it's a uh, long movie. You gotta. It's like you gotta really one. dig in. It's, like three it's a hours, good movie, yeah. honestly. It's a good fucking movie. What have y'all been watching lately? Ozark and Cheers. Really, Ozark? Yeah, Ozark. Fucking Cheers. Solar, I, solar Opposites. And yes, Rick and Morty. I'm with you on yeah. Solar Opposites. I've already mentioned it on the podcast. I, it's really wa- good. I think I watched the first, or maybe the first, or s- first and second. I showed it to you. Yeah, we I'm gonna right, watch yeah. it again. I don't even care. I watched it, it twice. Tonight. Yeah, yeah. Dude. You got Did anybody watch... seen Ozark? 
at all? No, no. but I, I do like Bueller? Jason Bateman. Did we watch? Yeah, I mean, everybody Justin? watched fucking Tiger King, didn't we? Yeah. Since the last time we all I seen did. each other. Oh, everybody oh, watched did Tiger King. Did you watch King. it, Drew? I, f- I, I wish I didn't. Like, oh, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's such oh, good TV, dude. dude. It's, uh, you can't look away from that. TV. Exactly. It's so bad, dude. It's, it's My girlfriend so and her bad, sister got good. like coffee mugs that have like a Carol Baskin wrap on it. And she's like, Carol Baskin. <laughs> Killed her husband, whacked, whacked him. him. Like that's all here in my fucking me. house. It, did, all it the time. didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> like, she has to tigers, have a snack him. Dude, exactly. What's yeah. happening? This that what husband killing bitch, Carol Baskin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's what's been going on? So, that was watched, crazy uh, though. So in the day in the world of fucking Carol Baskin, <laughs> I watched. I liked his campaign ad. He was like, "I'm broke as shit." <laughs> It's like, I, I'm gay as fuck. Whatever the fuck you say. <laughs> that show was crazy. It was so I run my own business crazy. and I own my own tiger. <laughs> that dude just shows up and I think he accidentally <laughs> shot himself in the head. Oh, yeah. That dude. Because uh, is... David Spade. Dude, have you guys been watching? Did you guys ever watch David Spade's late night show? Lights Not out really. with David Spade, dude. I didn't know. Awesome. I saw a couple of clips one. on dude, the. You got to check out it. some of the clips. Anyway, David Spade interviewed uh, the guy who was like uh, his campaign manager. And he was the guy who seen him shoot himself. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, he's an actual witness to the shooting. He claims yeah. that he thinks that it was a total accident. Like the guy was like, hey, here's a fact about this gun. You can't fire it if it doesn't bang. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. He was talking something about some fact about the gun. He's like, when he was laying there, it looked like he was still alive for a second. It looked like, like yeah, this wasn't supposed to happen. Like, Damn. Fuck. Yeah, it was fucked up. So what he like... He had some he had accidentally a gun pulled the trigger. He was like, "This gun won't fire if it doesn't have a clip in it or something like it that." Happens it happens just off the camera, dude. Bullet too, in the chamber. Man. I know. Right off camera, you can see the guy who I bet you see it. So I you bet see you see like, it. I bet you actually see it, but they like, just cropped it. You think? Out. I bet. I bet they just cropped it out and didn't. Or they had show. a different angle. They didn't want to show a guy getting his fucking brain. Well, they talk about they talk about him like be basically being married to two fucking straight men, and how he managed. He that was like, he's he got found... them golden nuggets. <laughs> what <laughs> What balls. did he say to those guys? He was like, "Do you like porn with guys in it, or do you only watch?" Oh no, he said he said when like... you're watching porn, do you like a small dick or a big dick? And he's like, "Well, a big dick." Well, then you're not that straight. <laughs> 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 Which is not well, freaking good his, logic. His two, no. his two husbands. Well, when you put it that way, his two husbands. He was just straight up feeding them both meth and yeah, like making exactly. them stay in the yeah. fucking. Tiger Neither pack. one of them are gay. <laughs> Joe Exotic is like, not a good person. They're just like I want. Meth. None of those people are good people. On that <laughs> show. Them, dude. You can fuck good. anything if you got meth and tigers. Yeah, no How shit. about the chick who lost her friggin' arm and stayed working there? She went back to work dude, and like oh, she's next a fucking week. badass yeah. man. Like I was like I wouldn't if I got my arm eaten. I'd be like no nah, fuck you. I'm 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 not working for the next month. She's like, fuck it. It calls her, hey you okay? You gonna be when you think you come back to work? <laughs> she's like there's so much shit right now. Like, I'll be there tomorrow morning. Like, I'll be back in like five days. <laughs> You're going too hard. Shit. <laughs> that bitch, Carol I heard Baskin. That, I heard she uh, transitioned to a dude, though. She did, yeah. Yeah. David Respect. So we're being disrespectful right oh, now. Fuck. So easy. We're gender. Uh, what but is it called? Being gender biased. <laughs> yeah. that, uh, he, she seemed like the most, probably the most down to earth, other than the guy with the like the metal legs. Yeah, yeah. Hit her, that dude. Hit, There's a dude them, with metal like legs. Two, I yeah, gotta them, watch this shit. I'm telling dude, you, them two are like the most down to earth ones of the whole group. Maybe that other guy with long hair. He was like, oh, I was just in it for the tigers. <laughs> I like to pat them and rub their bellies. Yeah. Dude, but the coolest thing about the dude with the metal legs, man, is he like was like, all right, fuck this life, and then he just builds but, fucking race cars now. <laughs> but I want to know about the legit. I want to know about lady that got her arm bit off. Was she um, just like fuck it? That's what tigers I do. Think, I yeah, think she's transitioned. Yeah, I think yeah. she's transitioned into a male. Oh, he, now him. I forget he, that. I forget her, his name. Zim, Zay, Zim. Zim. Zim? No, I think we just, just call him. Just him. Yeah. Call him now. No. Oh. I think I forget his name, but he yeah had his arm ripped off by a tiger, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh shit!" How about when that tiger fucking grabbed Joe by the boot and fucking started dragging oh, his ass? Yeah. I've seen that, and he just like started hitting it with the. He fucking... was hitting it, but then he like fired started off some shots. 
And let him he go, went, he yeah. didn't aim at the tiger, but he fired off oh, a couple there's shots. There's also I didn't see there's that also he... an unsolved like mystery murder case Carol wrapped Baskin. up in the whole thing where this lady <laughs> Is that pretty the one? much killed her husband. Where she's like, if I wanted to kill him, I would have put him in like salmon sauce or some uh, shit like yeah, that. Something yeah, something like weird like Basically, that. Basically, she fed her. But where Joe the Exotic, tigers. this dude Joe Exotic fucked up. He was like. If they try to come here, it's going to be another fucking Waco. Like, <laughs> why? You should not say that. You shouldn't have said that. Or half the shit you said. Fucking oh, remember man. the Tiger Alamo. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. That is kind you of that, that whole documentary, to be honest. Like, But that bitch Carol Baskin, pretty fuck, much everybody thinks she killed you. her husband. These so. are my tigers. husband whacked her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else have you been watching more recently? Because that was a minute ago. Like I said, I've been watching a lot of stand ups, new specials. I watched the Mark Hammond. Uh, I watched the uh, Mark Bill Norman. Burr, Mark I Norman. What did I say? Mark Hammond. I'm mixing up people. I'm, yeah, the Mark Norman one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got a new one? Damn, I'm going to check that out. Weren't you there <laughs> when we saw him live? Yeah. Mark Norman? Yeah, is that it, the new one you're talking it's about? It's basically that set, oh, okay, but, okay. you know, it's more worked on and it's yeah. cleaner and it's funny. It's all tightened up. He's got that Comedy Tight Central one on YouTube, too, and it's really fucking funny. But I also watched uh, Jerry Seinfeld's new one. How's oh. that? Was it good? Because I don't like it's Seinfeld. It's Jerry Seinfeld. Tried to, we tried to watch it's, Seinfeld. It's but funny. It it's funny, po- funny parts. So was it like older stuff now? Or is it like, Viagra, what's the deal with that? <laughs> <laughs> I threw on the bird. It gets your dick hard and it never pressure. goes down for His three hours. His last for a little bit. Uh, Just in the background. Hey, big boy. I was like doing shit around the house while it was going. Hey, but... big boy, that's a pretty good. I like that. Because every time he's on like Joe Rogan. Like anytime he's on Rogan, I'll listen. Anytime Joey Diaz is on Rogan, yeah. I'll listen. Joey Diaz is Joey Diaz. I, uh. He lives. He lives in 1994. It's right. the best. I referred you to the Two Bears One Cave podcast yeah, with I've him, it out him and Tom times. Segura. I've listened to the so, Bill Burr, the Bill Bill Burr, Bill Burr. Yeah, more yeah, than yeah. I have the Two Bears. I like one that cave. one. I always love when Bill Burr's on fucking Joe Rogan. Bill Burr's always great. Classic, man. Whatever yeah. he, whatever he's on, is always like. I love just love Joey laugh. Diaz. I, I something about his voice. I can God, listen sucker. to him talking. <laughs> that cock You know. Like, <laughs> I took the fucking elevator like a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing cocaine since 1993. Like, <laughs> well, like, do you guys, do you remember him in The Longest Yard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A can yeah. of corn. Can. All I need is a can of corn. Yeah, can <laughs> he of was corn. in, uh, 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 what was it? Fucking My Name is Earl, too, when he was in prison. Uh, when was Earl he? Was in, yeah, dude. Hey, dude, he's the. With he's Michael Rappaport the, and all yeah, the. Yeah. I don't remember him being in there. He's in there. But he's the perfect overweight prisoner or like a side <laughs> mob guy. Like, <laughs> he just has the perfect look for it. He Which was because I, I remember the the Rappaport guy. Mm-hmm. He's like, hey, Earl. <laughs> like, and Plus, then he comes and he gets my out. Phone on airplane mode this whole time. Oh, shit. Uh, there's no interference. It should be good. Okay. I just now Shh, switched show. it to airplane mode. <laughs> I was like, I think I fucked up. Oh, God, yeah. For so long. I was like, nobody me. reminded me. I turned it on, and then all of a sudden, it's like, <laughs> what happened with your thing, man? You we haven't gotten to start back. a podcast. We recorded a whole thing, but didn't have our phones on airplane mode. <laughs> and it was, ah. it just had interference. It the whole, whole time. fucking thing, like the ah. whole hour, and then the pandemic shit started, and it was like he. Yeah, I know. Feel comfortable, you know what I mean. So we didn't. Really, so, April didn't want to come through. So either. yeah, we haven't got. I literally haven't seen to do Sarah's podcast. Since, yeah. I haven't, literally haven't seen him since then. I would still like to do it because I would like to do some of the topics. You yeah, know, like and I probably have be cool to have you guys on talk about movies and shit. Hell right? yeah. movies, no, that's what we want to talk about. Is like right. movies. It's mostly what we've been talking about today. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I could talk about. I'm all dumb for and it. Dumber. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, you know. It, I'm sure if I had a, an interface, it would have sounded a lot better with the um, the remote. The, yeah, the remote thing that we were using. I need to get like a splitter like that. This thing? Yeah. yeah. I have this double one. I've got a double one. That was just for me. You know, if we yeah. wanted to have more people on, it's oh, like, right. shit, what do, yeah. you, what do you do? Yeah. But do you have a mixer? No, I just have a interface like that. Mm-hmm. What you got over there? What is it? And two I was, inputs. Yeah, and I was using so that's um, like two mics. Yep, I was using Personas. 
Right. But yeah, it had uh, we did a whole thing, whole first episode, and then went to listen back to it, and there's just like a, uh, there's just uh, like a, <laughs> like a ringing type, just a fucking noise, dude. The can whole you, fucking time. Can you not get it out with your, uh, whatever Audacity or whatever? I don't DAW know. You're I don't know that much anything. about it. I'm just. Just now figuring Are out how to record. Are you using Audacity to record? Uh, no, right now I've been using Reaper to do like riffs and shit. Dude, you can do a lot with Reaper. I was using Guitar Pro, and I've just now figured out how to record like a live amp. You know I've what been I mean? trying I was, to like, program drums <clears throat> and shit. I've been trying to do stuff for uh, like get a uh, what do you call it? A portfolio for like voice acting. Oh yeah, stuff. you'd be good at like, that. Do like commercials and stuff, yeah. and then add like yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be it's a lot of work though. I've been trying to get really good at all the editors. Have you ever like, heard of the hit record thing uh, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, his little project thing he does? Mm-mm. It's like uh. everybody chips in to like, he's always looking for voice actors. You just, uh, you sign up and then you add and it just, it goes into a big collective what? thing that everybody does and I don't know, it's for a good cause or something. I don't know what Check exactly the... Uh, yeah. The next fake ad read you guys do <laughs> should do it as Master Roshi. <laughs> Viagra. <laughs> do you need a little bit of metal enhancement? Yeah. Well, do I got the thing for you? Tell him. Tell him, Krillin. Ah, send Zoom <laughs> Yeah. I didn't watch that crap. What? That's a, well, for your, just so you know, that's a good, good ass Master Roshi. I guess so. Tell him, Goku. Goku, god damn it, Goku, you son of a bitch. Goku doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He doesn't know. I don't know. You got another beer over there, though? Yeah, you might want to wait a while before opening it. Are uh, they slushy? Are they no, knocked just over. they were, got knocked over, and I, I mean, didn't realize slushy. that. And then beer <laughs> went everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. We're yeah, here cool. with beer. You know what I w- wanted for to it. do for this episode? I wanted to call Sean and like put him on blast. Be like, what the fuck, Sean? Yeah, man. What happened, bro? Because this is what happened. We were supposed to record last week last uh, with my cousin and uh, her husband. My, my cousin, cousin, Vinny. <laughs> You have a cousin named Vinny? No. no. Oh, awesome. My cousin Tabby and her oh. husband, who's my cousin. And then, <laughs> but they canceled on me last minute, dude. They were even like approving. Uh, they were all about it like an hour before, and then they call me. Uh, no, nah, we're going to, she's not feeling it today. It's like, you bastards. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I wanted to put him on blast because he's. The type of guy who only does phone calls. All right, how do I call him? Let's see if this works. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Sean McDeezy. What's happening? You're on the podcast right now. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit. What's, up, dude? what's going on, man? Uh, okay, we, what's up? What, uh, what know, do I get the pleasure? Um, the reason why we called you is to confront you about what the fuck happened last week. Yeah, dude. Oh man, on the spot like that. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> exactly. What do you mean what happened last week when Tab and I? Yeah, man. You guys were supposed to come through. We were supposed to do a podcast. And then, like, right before we fucking oh, were got, about to do she it. Got, she got balls to the walls, drunk as a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, got too hungover. And I had to stay back and uh, take care of the clan. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we're getting yeah, some yeah. Of that interference. Is that me? I don't know which one it is. So, is she there right now? Uh, she's driving the van, and I'm in the back of the van. Okay. Do you need help? Can I talk are you, to her? Are you tied up? <laughs> <laughs> Blink three times if you need help. We can't see him. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> blink, blink. 
<laughs> hey, but uh, hold on. Before we go on, Drew, what did you think of on the wizard? The wizard. The wizard. All right, check it. Right. So I just kind of was a homemade hero, and saved your wife from this intimidating spider that was dropping down from the from the ceiling. But I didn't see it at first until you know she was like, "Hey, hey, take care of that shit for me." I was like, "Yeah, all right." <laughs> You got it, Mom. Take care of my dirty work. <laughs> but I thought when I was on the toilet, I was like, man, why is it that when you, you fucking so you run into like a spiral? You took it down? <laughs> no, man, I just he shook it, it off a little. Oh, okay. Some bitch. But anyway, I was just thinking, man, anytime you run into a spider web, even if that shit's not still on you, like, you feel it for like minutes later, you're just like, it's like tingling. And you, you know, you do that yeah. like weird check thing where yeah. you're just like, phantom it's like spider oh, web. man, yeah, the phantom fucking spider web feels, dude. It's. It's, Nobody it's you know you just have that feeling like you're like ugh, and then you check again and you're like I guess I'm good but I still feel it ugh. every time. <laughs> it's weird, man. Oh yeah, sirens every time. Well, about half the time. Take yeah. a drink. So oh, yeah, one bites the dust and another one. <laughs> Damn it, Drew! <laughs> nice, you didn't Drew. bring back beers, Drew. Ah, uh, it's because I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, all right. we all knew that, but you summon a bitch. Thanks for really driving it home. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, screw you guys. I'm going. We freaking hate Ugh. that guy. I <laughs> can't see it, viewers, but... <laughs> I hope you can see it because I'm doing it as hard as I possibly can. So, you need a beer, and you need a beer, you need a beer. Yes, so, Oprah. After this bullshit, this guy needs a beer. Just look inside your butthole. You got a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, how did you do that? <laughs> because I'm Oprah. We abducted you yesterday and sedated you. Yeah. And you just woke up during the during the commercial break. <laughs> I thought that was a dream. <laughs> no, that actually happened. Oh my god. I have a skilled team. <laughs> We have a select oh. few scientists. There's like, then you go to the grocery store, and on the tabloid page, it's Oprah puts, you know, right, grand prize, and I can, you know, audience members buy it. I'm getting way off topic. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm, I wasn't even sure Just where you guys were. I don't, I don't know, know where I'm going. But, Sounds uh, to. I did. Oh, Drew uh, did the <laughs> Oprah thing. That's yeah, right, but that's what. Happened. Everyone gets a beer. I didn't finish telling you about the stand-up comedy I watched. Well, here's your beers, you sons of bitches. <laughs> I also watched Patton yeah. Oswalt's. Oh, he's got a new one? Yeah. Of course he does. So I watched Mark Norman's, Seinfeld's, Patton Oswalt's, and on the Patton Oswalt one, there's like another one after it, which is... Uh, it's not him. It's like this guy called Bob Rubin. Very weird guy. I watched it all, but I'd never heard of him before. And he's just like a guy who's been like doing too many drugs and shit, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so there I was with the meth spiders. <laughs> he was like very eccentric and shit, but uh. In the scanner darkly kind of trip, like you like. Oh, that's it was, a weird. It was a movie, little hard dude. to follow actually because he was like scatterbrain all over the place. But some of it was funny. Then the uh, reference holds up. <laughs> <laughs> Philip K. Dick all over you. <laughs> Have you heard of that that show, uh, Midnight? Midnight Gospel, yeah, yeah, I watched a bit. You of watched it, dude. It's trippy. <laughs> it's it's trippy. good, but it's. Trippy. I watched it all. Like I finished it. It was. It's. <laughs> so weird because i i heard that uh joe rogan episode when he was on duncan trussell did you hear that one yep the comedian yep Yep. and that's where i heard about the midnight gospel and then i watched it so fucking weird it's from the same people who do uh adventure time the same uh animator or whatever it's fucking pendleton uh, ward yeah 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 but yeah it's an adult show for sure (laughs) and it's it's weird it's like this guy He's got this weird computer, and then, uh, what is his name, Chan- Clancy? Clancy, and it lets him go to, like, it all lets him kinds go to, of realities. Yeah. yeah. He sticks his head in this thing, and it, like, simulator, it simulates or something, and it shoots him out into the fucking 
damn <laughs> to the spa- into space. I really like Every the time. zombie episode, man. And he <laughs> fucking, but it's basically like a podcast, but all this weird shit is happening oh, around okay. it. But Get he's animated. basically talking to someone, and it's like real deep is conversations. It like an animated podcast? But it's hard to. Yep. Yeah. It, it's uh, and it's like uh, it's basically if you were doing like live interviews to understand somebody's culture and then like taking those clips of those interviews and then airing them as a podcast but it's a cartoon like that's and that's essentially what it is and there's a whole freaking things happening around uh, as they're trying to do this interview did you see the one with like the prison yeah man and he, he keeps gnarly. trying to escape and shit <laughs> I don't know but damn that was a very weird show what show? I, it was the it's called Midnight, Midnight Gospel. Was Midnight Gospel on Netflix. Oh, no. It's fucking, high, man. It's weird as shit. <laughs> Can neither confirm or deny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we would never do those sorts of things. It's not a hundred mil mic over done. here. <laughs> no. I watched a, a pop-up set of Tom Green on YouTube too. That was like twenty minutes long. It's pretty Tom funny. Green. Holy shit. Yeah. He does stand up still. still. And I think he just started his podcast. Um, He's always been doing some well, sort of podcast. He was like one of the. But I mean, re- yeah. He's where Joe Rogan got, got the, the idea. Yeah. When he, I, I seen it when he was on there and they were talking about when he went over to his house and he was like, yeah. there's like a full on studio. Had, in yeah, there. he had all the servers and like yeah. just the whole studio set up. And like, <laughs> he pretty house. much had like his own internet. What in a way, like people. his own internet server. He was in like he was pretty popular there for a minute. Oh yeah, because well, he got like this is the Tom Green show. No, no, no. So what happened? He got, it's not the Green Tom show. He got he got he sick got with something. Cancer, right? He had like oh yeah, testicular, testicular cancer. Yeah, he has testicular one cancer. testicle. No, what yeah. uh, what kind of made him fall off the face of the map was he had the Tom Green show and but one in one of the episodes he went into a congress meeting dressed as Hitler and that's <laughs> like that's what <laughs> fucked his career like it fucked his career uh, for a long time i mean i fucking commend him for what? doing something that ballsy but Did he like was in a it? movie where he was a butler <clears throat> I forget the name of it. It was what? a straight to DVD movie. I My buddy Nate had it. He let me borrow it. That. He was a butler. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Damn. He, what? It was weird. Um, shit. There was a masturbation joke in there somewhere. <laughs> he says in the movie, it's kind of fucking. I just hilarious. remember him as the fucking, like, I want to know the guy. name of that fucking guys, movie. I'm a, I don't know what it was called. Do you guys remember? Do know. you guys remember the old dude you're getting Adele commercial guy? Dude, yeah, Vague, a vaguely, tail. vaguely. I think that guy dressed up as Hitler the to like a was, Halloween party or something. And that. Sh- are you talking about the guy who was always a PC? The Mac and PC guy? No, not that guy. He wasn't guy. Justin Long, the Mac no. guy, right? He was the old <laughs> PC guy. No, <laughs> that guy like, is in uh, Bored to Death, dude, Dodge with Ball with or... Ted Danson and Jason Swartman and Sam Malone, Zach Galifianakis. Very good show, HBO show. You ever heard of that one? Bored to Death? No, man. Where he's like a private detective and shit? I still want to see that. Uh, I don't know if it's on HBO or Showtime, but Danny McBride, Adam Devine, yes, John dude, Goodman. It's What's so the name good. of that show? The Righteous Gemstones. Yeah, oh, it's so that. fucking good. That, Drew? I love no, it. No, man, but I oh. love Danny McBride, man. I loved his show. I love he's Adam Devine. I like TV, like televangelists, right? Religious televangelists. Oh, I remember Kevin telling yeah, me about yeah. the show. Yeah. John Goodman. John that. Goodman is the dad. And, and is it Showtime or HBO? HBO. That was Baby Jesus you just threw. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. was. <laughs> just Danny McBride alone, da- and then you Adam Someone, Devine from... Workaholics and shit. Someone just yeah. like pointed out like uh, how Danny McBride is basically the same guy and everything. Yeah, yeah, pretty he, much. Basically a one trick pony. I don't want to talk shit about him, but I like because I like hilarious. him. But like, Even it's kind of like, true, you yeah. know. Even going to like through Tropic Thunder. But that might not be. That might not I, be totally his fault though. He might just be like. He, well, he's very, he's that very so much tight cat. He's that yeah, southern that southern asshole guy. But, He'll, He'll turn in like a good dramatic performance when he's really old, dude. I, you know I won't, what I mean? And people are like, "Oh shit, Danny McBride." You seen that? What is it? Name. This is the end and shit. Yep, yeah. dude. I love. He's the best person in this <laughs> thing, though. He, when he's doing that little dance when he comes out of the tub, fucking like lighting up. <laughs> I dude, love him. That scene always makes me laugh. Hot Rod. 
Hot Rod. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah, was the yeah, first yeah. time I remember seeing him in Hot Rod. They, he like he's on like that. He's laying down on that skateboard. Was it luge? What the hell are they fucking called? A luge. I don't know what it was, but anyway, yeah. that guy comes up. He's like, "My trailer," and he's like, "I swear, he's like, I swear to God, I go to church every goddamn Sunday, <laughs> and you're gonna bring the demons out of me." <laughs> I've been drinking Mountain, or was it lemonade and tea? Or so, lemonade? I don't know, but he takes the guy's hat. He's like, "This hat, this is totally my hat now. This is totally my." The hat. other movie I, I remember that. seeing him in really early on was a Ben Stiller movie called The Heartbreak Kid, where he plays like the that. cousin of. The girl that Ben Stiller's character is trying to get with, but he's like, "I know what you're doing over there. I can smell it. You're smoking the devil's lettuce." He's smoking <laughs> the devil's lettuce. He's playing like it's the one movie where I see him play like the the straight laced guy. <laughs> Did you guys watch King of Queens? Yeah, yeah. Jerry Stiller, his yeah. dad just died. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the best parts of King of Queens. Fuck I yeah. guess he's on Seinfeld, but I haven't what watched the Seinfeld. Dude, he's the watch best Seinfeld. part of Seinfeld, man. Exactly. Maybe once we get through so Cheers. Run now. <laughs> Maybe once we get through Best of us for the rest of us. <laughs> but I loved him on King of Queens. He's like, uh, okay, Douglas. Okay, Douglas. <laughs> Doug- Douglas. <laughs> you go, I want like a that chick, would, that chick would come over and take him for a walk like yeah. he's a dog. <laughs> okay. I watched a little the freaking mad TV. A little thing on YouTube okay, about Douglas. him being, uh, you know, uh, Frank Costanza and shit, and it showed like interviews from everybody and how they. How much they loved him and shit. It was, Dude, yeah, it's really good. forever to realize that that was Ben Stiller's dad. He was, yeah, he was in um, Heavyweights. Him, he's him and funny. His, Ben Stiller's mom and dad were both yeah. in Heavyweights as the camp owners. Right, right, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yep, he was uh, in Zoolander. He was the agent. <laughs> Like balls, <laughs> something, know. something balls. <laughs> Dude, some you uh, oh, it's been you mentioned Tropic Thunder, that. and I'm going to say this right now. That is Tom Cruise's best role, because that's the only movie I've ever seen him in. At the end, when I saw his name, I was like, holy fuck, that yeah. was Tom Cruise? I, remember like, that. I was like, yeah. away, dude. I went with my buddy, uh, Nate, we watched that, and did not notice that was Tom Cruise during the whole fucking movie. Yeah. Well, a big part of how Same he pulled here. that off is really they made him uh, in know. the first. I didn't like, know until somebody said it. Once you found out, you can see it. Yeah. And, and then, you can't unsee it. And then you hear about like the TC and the sign that yeah. he's always standing by. And you're like, oh, shit. But the thing about it was is uh, they made him wear a fat suit through like the first takes, right? <laughs> but... Like his hands look normal, so it kind of gave him away a little bit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, Tom Cruise was actually the one. He's like, dude, what will really yeah. sell this is if you like give me prosthetic fat yeah. hands. Like, so yeah. he talked them into giving him like sausage, like yeah, finger, pl- yeah and that prosthetic. dance, that dance at the end <laughs> yeah. is totally yeah. improvised. Yep. He just yep. started doing yeah. it. Had Bill uh, Hader. Like, Bill Hader was in that. I love Bill oh, Hader. Man, yeah, I Bill Hader is pretty good. Have, have you seen Barry? Yeah, Dude, I Barry's seen dope. The, I loved Barry. I've only man. seen the first episode it's of season good one because it was free and on it's PlayStation. That, and it's got that it. one guy, fucking what's his uh, Henry Winkler, his uncle's name, Henry Winkler. The no, no, no. it's does the that guy man? who does Bill's voice uh, on King of the Hill. And, oh, oh and, yeah, he's been in. But he's also all, dodgeball. He's well, he's been in yeah, dodgeball, and he's also in Office Spaces. Milton, yeah, yeah, yeah. Milton. <laughs> oh, brother, where are you? It's my stapler. Yeah, yeah. I believe you have my stapler. It's a red. Stapler. I, am a I, I want my stapler. It's a swing I, line. I, I used to be by the window and I could see the squirrels and they were merry. If I don't, if I don't, if I don't get my stapler back, I I'm, love that guy, I'm gonna dude. Burn, I'm He's gonna burn this place. I fucking down always to the forget his name, like, though. I, I swear, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna bidding down. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna burn it all down. <laughs> it does too. Like, yeah. You said I, that I could have the radio on if it was at the reasonable time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Milton, could you turn that on the radio? But but I've already t- I've already turned it down and, and I can barely even hear it. So I don't I don't know how you I don't know how you. I like how it. you just don't ever see anything more about that character. He's, He's just, just the guy at work. He just like disappears. He's just a weird guy at work. And then he they finds- don't follow him at all during the rest of the movie. You only see him at work, and I like that. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's classic. That's like one of those movies that not a lot of people have seen Office Space. It's, it's they, really sad because it's, it's one a great of movie. Judge's best movies, it's man. One of, yeah, it's a great well, movie. I, You've seen it? Everybody's seen it here, right? Yeah. Office Space? Oh, Because well, yeah, I know yeah. when Everybody I was a that? kid, uh, every time I seen that movie playing, I was just like, man, this is some boring Office movie. 
Like, the only thing I liked about it was when they smashed the thing. They and smashed then, the printer, yeah. And then when you actually go back and actually watch it, like, you intentionally go to watch it, you're like, oh, shit, this is a good-ass movie. Good movie. <laughs> PC Love Letter? Speaking what of, the fuck uh, does that mean? Speaking of Mike Judge, did you watch Silicon Valley? Huh. Oh, oh man, I've seen no. episodes. It was meh thought... for me. It was like it was not my favorite. I think the first two seasons, def like the shit oh. with T.J. Miller before he yeah. they make him. You know, I was watching clips shit. of that shit today. Like the dude that's all like he kind of reminds me like he's trying to do Ron Swanson from uh, <clears throat> the guy that's kind of an asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He he, he kind of gives me like a uh, same trying... basic uh, character trait. Yeah, but. Uh, Speak, uh, but Thomas just... Middleditch. Speaking of that guy, I freaking I watched a thing on him. Uh, did Did you see that on Netflix? Uh, Middleditch and Swartz. It's a completely improvised comedy special. <sighs> well, it's three of them. It's all improvised. Him and uh, Ben Swartz. They like they get it's basically kind of like Who's Line, but they get like some ideas from the audience, and they do a whole fucking like an hour long, basically, about that. What? Improvise just them two improvising, just playing a whole bunch of different characters and shit, switching characters up, and just oh, shit. it's really funny, dude. What and is you it? Can, you can you can see when they mess up and shit, and they're trying to cover it up. <laughs> it's it's, it's called is? Middle Ditch and Swartz on Netflix. Middle Ditch and Swartz. And it's it's three uh, completely improvised specials, hour long. Hell yeah! It's pretty good, dude. It's worth watching at least once. Fuck yeah, dude! Gave me some good laughs. It's because you know how hard they're trying to fucking make it funny, and you know what's going through their mind. <laughs> they sometimes they fumble with like people's names and shit. Wait, what was your name? Uh, what was my name again? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. It, it does I, make you want to try some improvise. Yeah. Have you guys seen some improv. Boondock Saints? Of course. Okay, so you know the old dude, the grandpa guy at the, at yeah, the end? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he's a comedian. And I was watching what? some of his stand-up. It's actually no pretty shit. fucking good. Isn't it that uh, that guy that's in, like, Little Nicky? The, the guy with the crazy eye? You going all crazy eye on me? No. I'll show you some crazy eye. No, this is a this is a British guy. No, dude, man, the dude with the crazy eye, I'm pretty sure is uh, Quentin Tarantino, actually. No, 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 no. You're talking about like the, the priest, priest guy. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the old black guy who's like. Oh, oh. The, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. yeah I know you're talking about crazy eye you know, on me. That's Boondocks. You're thinking of like. Boondock oh. Saints is... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got yeah. those mixed up. Yeah. Okay. Now oh, I'm, you're thinking now of I'm on track. Yeah, tra- yeah, you're thinking <laughs> of Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm on track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry Just about that. Just trying to make it a white man. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> Uncle Ruckus, no relations. <laughs> I have seen the Boondock Saints, though. Norman Reedus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have so the old, the old, or like the old dude, the old grandpa guy, he's got like, like all the guns in his it, vest yeah, and shit. Yeah, his dad. Yeah. That dude's a stand-up got comedian. Got to work the It's the opposite of what Michael Jackson had. Mm. Mm. Yeah. When I think of that movie, I think of that Bleeding Through song. Oh, there yeah. There was a yeah. firefight. <laughs> so <laughs> good, <laughs> man. Yeah, heavy as fuck. Some huge fucking guy. <clears throat> Say your turn. Yeah, no, no, okay. And my heart belongs to you. <laughs> so, so save me. Ow. My heart belongs to you. So save me. We're going to do the whole song. Oh, yeah, Lost, in hell. Lost in a hail of gunfire, dude. That yeah. is a tight motherfucking song. I'm only, sad that I, I only knew seen that song live. from um, like the Ozfest 2003 yeah. summer sample. No, had to be later than that. 2005 it, what, maybe. What, yeah, I was gonna say it had to be 2005 because that album came out around. What year was it when they had PlayStation? It was like PlayStation was there. Um, PlayStation. Five Finger Death Punch was there. Super Joint Ritual. 
Uh, I went you to... lost me at a five finger punch. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> it was man. the first time I ever heard of them. Um, I can't remember who else was. I think Black Sabbath. Ooh, um, there now we're talking. Uh, I can't remember. Everybody was there. I got super fucking drunk. You went to Ozfest mm-hmm. with us? No, no. Oh, okay. I I was oh, there. Oh, Super Joint. I remember when Super Joint was there. And then they were playing like, um. Was it like 03 or, or no? Oh, I can't remember. They were playing like, uh, what is that? Little, what, something friends, something, uh. Little, Get high with a little help from my Little friends. tree friends and friends or something like that. <laughs> oh, happy tree friends. Happy tree friends. Man, they were playing happy man, tree man, friends man, on the main shit. stage. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. <laughs> you did it early, fuckhead. No, oh. yeah, you're way off time. <laughs> you got no rhythm. Three months of rehearsal for that. <laughs> Three months <laughs> wasted. <laughs> ruined. 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 It's you're all ruined. It's all ruined. You're such a disease. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last concert you went to before COVID? Uh, Slipknot last year. I was Slipknot. Who was there? I forget. Uh, I Gojira, know. and then there was another oh, band I don't recall. Trivium? No, that was going to be this year. No. I was so oh, excited, yeah. dude. That Lamb lineup of God and In is Flames my favorite and Mega fucking lineup, dude. Trivium. In Flames. In Flames. Lamb of God. Lamb of God. And Megadeth. Megadeth. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, it was going to be a good year. Oh, it was going to be a was, good concert. Didn't you buy your ticket? Concert I got my ticket super cheap on Groupon. So did I. I and uh, aren't they going to redo it for next year? I don't know. I um, think they are. I only seen where Lamb of God made it. I don't know how to Instagram get your money post. back from Groupon, though. I'm just going to hang on to it and because I paid 15 bucks, I'll hang on to it until it's... They'll make it right. Dude, you I feel your pain. <laughs> I'm like, what? They fucking better. Like, like, I hope they reschedule it for some It'd be time. cool if they were like, all right, use that ticket for like one free concert of your choice. I'm like, no, I'm I'm going to save this yeah, until cool. Megadeth and fucking Lamb of God come back through here, you sons of bitches. Dude. Because I've never seen Megadeth. That's like a bucket list. I have. Ha ha, in your face. And you're a bigger <laughs> Megadeth fan. Screw you, Kevin. <laughs> Dude, I will say I, I'm really glad um, I got to see Motorhead before Let Me Pass. So, um, in 2012, Ozfest, it was fucking As I Lay Dying, oh, then nice. Motorhead, then Slayer, and then Slipknot was the fucking headliner. It was so sick. Yeah, that was a pretty crazy lineup. Dude. Definitely take a piss break during Slayer, though. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I but then it, it, popular everybody in the bathroom yells Slayer, dude. That's what happened last time oh. Slayer was here. Yeah. Oh, so Slayer, you, Lamb you, of God. That's you, what it you, was. You listen to uh, Raining Blood and then God Hates Us All, and then you're like, all right, fucking, I'm out. Like, <laughs> I heard the best two songs. It's, it's cool. I can, I can miss the rest. I had my metal is, card revoked. I guess I didn't read the fine print at the bottom that said you must worship Slayer. I know. Right. I guess there's a. I didn't see that. I don't Play. see what's so, so special about him. Like I thought this was intermission, you guys. Yeah. Hey, you guys, cool during Slayer. Want to go get a beer? Their fans are piss. fucking nuts, though, man. Dude, Super. I didn't say this, but I swear to God, at that show, I saw fucking Bobby there, man. I like. I swear, like I remember because he. I know he's Tracy a huge... and Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I know Bobby's a huge Slayer fan, and I swear to God, I remember seeing him there, like, just getting so down to Slayer. I mean, it was badass. I was, I was the in... Slayer Lamb of God show? Yeah. Did we go together? No, it was, uh, the, the, the one I'm talking about is the Slayer Motorhead Slipknot oh. show, like, the one I was at, like, oh, in, like, okay. 2012, and oh, I fucking, shit. I swear, like, that's why I was, like, tripping out when I first met him, because I was like, I fucking swear I've seen this dude before, and I swear it was at that He's a very show. charismatic dude. I yeah. will say, I've seen Slayer live. I will, I will take Slayer live over, you know, they had, like, three songs, like, Mandatory Suicide was cool, and, you know. I don't, I don't get it though. I don't get it don't, either, it's, really. It's it's fucking angel maybe it's death. like a generational Car- thing, like the generation. Carrie King us. is like his solos are all weird and yeah. you know, sort of sloppy. It's it's, it's Angel of Death. <laughs> I got into Metallica and like Megadeth and Pantera. I don't Dude. really care for Anthrax either. 
Uh, dude, a I lot of people love I'm, anthrax. I'm with you. I'm with a lot of people love anthrax. I saw them I with Lamb of God it. also at the Egyptian room. It's I'm, pretty I'm damn with good. You on the anthrax. I don't. I don't, I don't know. But I, I know. Like, I'm into Lamb of God. Do you, do you think we're gonna have a concert season this year at all? No. No. no, no dude, no. Uh, Bert Kreischer's coming here for a drive-in. Yeah. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. A drive be like Tibbs. Is he gonna be Tibbs? Yes, dude. Driving fucking for real. You wanna go? I'll go. I want to go, dude. Me and Talisa went but to Tibbs Drive-In last week. I don't know, I don't know how it works. Is he gonna just, is he gonna be up there live, well, just projected on the screens, or so? What? I'm guessing they're probably gonna project it on screen, but then you can also just but have your he's radio be there, on, right? Your, your car radio, radio on. He's like gotta you, be there. Yeah, yeah he's gotta be Where, there. Where's he it. gonna be at? He's at, probably well, gonna like, be at the front of Tibbs Drive-In. There's like a playground. They could probably build some sort of a stage there. Well, I'm sure he could be like on the stage, and they'll have like a way to project it onto like a main screen, and then you. Just yeah. tune your radio to whatever station they give okay. you. Side story: It was mine and Talisa's anniversary. We're like, we'll go we'll get some food and we'll go to a drive-in movie. Dude, I love Tibbs. We go to Tibbs and we pull up and Wait. it's like on the sign it says "Welcome Orchard Graduates." <laughs> and we're like, what the fuck is going on with this? You know, we got like food. We're ready to go for, yeah. this, for these movies. And we get up there like, oh, it's a high school graduation. They rented out the entire mother Tibbs fuck. drive-in. Or when was this? This was last week. Oh, shit. Yeah. Gross. We were ready to watch movies. Are they open? They are open, yeah. I thought that... Okay. Yeah, they well, are shit. It's yeah. like you're in your car, so it's yep, not... They're yeah. only doing half capacity, though. Oh, okay. Yep, so there's only half capacity, but they are open. Dude, I well, might go there. The drive-in's awesome. Dude, I, I love, the, love the drive-in. Fucking smoke and watch the movie. The fuck fucking... That I do, I can't fucking go to drive-ins with my car because since it's newer, it has like a safety feature. So if I just turn the electricity on and like to, to watch the movie, my battery will shut off. What? Will, well, like, hey, start, yeah. they have people well, there. And they have a, they have they have little generators there. They'll just jump you, dude. Well, what you could do is just bring like a boombox with oh, you. Oh yeah, 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 like old could school. Like uh, I don't have one of those, but we're but. like. <laughs> uh, with what, fucking D batteries and sh- like twelve D batteries and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's only gonna last you an hour. <laughs> I mean, in an hour. No, it won't it's even time last to you a whole movie. Or like, or Remember like, get you one of fucking things. Yeah, I totally do, dude. Get get you like one of those AM Listen FM space jam tracks on my fucking one of those AM FM things for your phone, and then the put it to a speaker. Jam. All right. <laughs> yeah. With your hands in the air yeah. now. I just watched that recently. The kids watched Space Jam. Oh, I was man. like, this, Space I was like Michael Jam. Jordan, not a terrible actor for a basketball player. Right. How about that it's Michael possible. Jordan documentary? I haven't got to watch it. I yet. haven't got to watch it Me either, either I but I hear to, he's a dick. Oh, really? <laughs> well, of course well, he's I'd a like dick. To. All Dude. great athletes but I'm not and a sports shit are guy dicks. either so it doesn't really matter I remember watching the Bulls versus Jazz finals Doubles. at my dad's house the Bears. and my dad's Doubles. watching there's like a vivid memory I have dude I watched every single one of the Michael Jordan's finals as a kid because you're from I, Chicago yeah, and yeah. I, Chicago. yeah yeah I was like I was, and I was Shakasha. What, what y'all need to know about me? <laughs> Shakasha. Shakasha. I was Shawshank I was a chubby kid that should have played football but I grew up in Chicago during the Chicago, Ma- Michael Jordan years, so I played fucking basketball you were like, as a I'm kid. Little Drew, I want to play basketball like Michael Jordan. It's like, I want to be like my too, even though I'm a chubby white kid. <laughs> Let's do like this. Like, <laughs> I want to be like Hello. my And then I, I grew in at you 13 said, to the size that I am, and I'm like, I want to still play s- basketball like Michael Jordan. Like, like, sound like shit. Mickey Mouse. I want to be like Mike. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> it's not Michael Jordan. <laughs> oh, they thought you were older than you actually were. Oh yeah, and, and they like, like disqualified you. Kind of some shit like that. that I remember it. playing like basketball oh. as a kid, and then they'd be like that, uh, like the opposing team, and they have like some towering beast on their team, and like all the parents on my team would be like, "There's no way he's fucking." <laughs> they held him back a year so he could fucking dominate this fucking thing. See, and he would be like the equivalent of dunking on us, like the whole game. Well, I played with kids like that too when I was thirteen. You know, was, there were kids that were like six one, six two, and where I was about five ten when I was thirteen. But I was five ten and basically built like this. Like so, when I turned thirteen, I just. Boom! Yeah, like, blew up. You're a little fucking. He plumped so like I, a <laughs> like a Frank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the midnight ball pumpkin ball exploded. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was going for. God damn it! I can never get the damn reference right. But, but I it, I was like, 
since I was built the way I am now, I was I wasn't fucking good at basketball. But I was so wide and strong, I could just rip the fucking basketball out of anybody's hands that would be coming down with that shit. So I just <laughs> really? I, I literally my last year playing basketball, I would wait for kids like that were like five or six inches taller than me to jump up. As they'd be falling down, I'd just fucking jump up and rip the goddamn ball right out of their hands. <laughs> Cause I was like, I was like, I can't, I can't jump higher than you, but I know I'm probably twice as strong as you are. So fuck it, let's do this, boy. Like, and then I get surrounded by like four people on the opposing teams. I'd be throwing elbows and knocking kids over, and I was like, I slip, sorry. Like, <laughs> one year, that's a technical <laughs> foul. That's a technical foul. Uh, Garfield, at Garfield Park. I played in, a, in leagues when I was a kid, and my dad, our real coach, we met Ooh. our real coach one week, and then the next week when it was time for practice, our coach didn't show up. He like, just <laughs> abandoned us because we were a bunch said, of Fuck you. losers, I guess. <laughs> but my dad, my dad and some other guys started coaching us, but we had like the equivalent of the Shaquille O'Neal of the league on our team <laughs> and my dad was like just keep passing him the ball <laughs> and so i would get the ball i dribble down the court dribble down the court i look over to my dad he's like pass the ball to, you gives know, you I, the head knock so i'd pass Give the ball to him and he would like fucking put it up then boom two points like they're just like keep feeding him i'm like what do you mean feed, <laughs> feed him. the beast it's like keep feeding him the ball i'm like okay and we just won a lot of... We dominated. Because we had a kid who was probably like 16 years old. Hell yeah. He was only we're supposed at, to be 12. We're at like <laughs> a, uh, an hour, five and a half, hour six. It's probably... Yeah, we're going to go cut it. wrap it on up. Yeah. Uh, wrap it. We can cut out that last you tap bit. It. Nice fucking transition, Keith. We Way don't to need go. to know what Mike did when he was Sleep 12 it? years old and playing basketball. <laughs> Could do so. without that. Um. Well, but, this was fun, you guys. Because yeah. he's yeah. a basketball Jones. <laughs> he's a basketball Jones. He's a basketball Jones. Ooh, baby. And I'll never date Madonna again. <laughs> <laughs> never date Madonna. <laughs> well, so, uh, words to live by: never date Madonna. Don't do it. Is that, so is that the takeaway? Do <laughs> yeah. It. That's, don't that's, do it. That's the lesson of today, Today's kids. takeaway. It's the name don't of the episode. Date don't date Madonna. Madonna. <laughs> Just remember. <laughs> don't do it. Dis- Dennis Rodman's dick has been in that. You, you, you want no parts of it. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. <laughs> and his tattooed Dennis cock. Ramadan. <laughs> Ramadan. He randomly befriends North Korea's dictator. <laughs> or whatever the fuck. And then How's the motherfucker happen? dies when we have shit figured out. How's that? Oh, and now his sister, the anime character, rules all. <laughs> it was a good episode. <laughs> you guys could talk all night, can't you? So we could do another episode. episode. You, got, like, you got me liquored and weeded up. I'm ready to go, man. It is Rodman playing. Well, we could we could wrap this one up and then re- go do and another then episode. Hogan. <laughs> we could do a round two if y'all want. Hey, yeah, you we always me, offer on the next episode. Two. You let me Next get a pizza? On you, 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 distorted you let lines. me get a can of corn. I need a can of corn, can and, and corn. I'll be back for episode two. <laughs> a can of, with a can of corn. Well, all right. On that note, <laughs> <laughs> let's finally all right. wrap Just this up. Later. Just Thanks for on. listening. <laughs> Peace you, out. Bye. So nice of you to come do our show. <laughs> I'm, a big fan. I'm a big fan. I'm a big podcast guy. <laughs>